Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react again to Zucker Nike, this time with his video Why do Muslims have non-vegetarian food? Can a person be a vegetarian and yet be a Muslim? If you don't know, this channel used to be an exclusive anti-vegan channel because I myself made the mistake to be a vegan, not only a vegetarian, but a vegan and exclude all the animal foods for four straight years. The result of that was, of course, suffering. God didn't intend us to eat only vegetarian or let alone vegan food. This is why my health suffered, digestive-wise, depression and teeth as well. Veganism is called the doctrine of the devils within Christianity. Once I quit veganism, I found God and I returned back to Christian orthodoxy. Now I'm very curious to find out what the viewpoint of vegetarianism, veganism is within Islam. Of course, I know about eight and eight is the slaughter fest, so I can already assume what the Islamic position on eating meat is. All right, but with no further ado, Let's have a look. Uh, hello, Dr. Jack Naik. My name is Mahind Kumar. And I am by qualification MBA and work for Thomas Cook at Fort. My question is regarding non-vegetarian foods. It is allowed in... He looks like a vegetarian. Islam. Animals are living beings. So don't you think that it is... That is always the claim of vegetarians. Animals are living beings. So what if they're living beings? We're all living beings and we're all dying beings. If you look into nature, everything eats each other. So living beings eat other living beings. Why then would you as a human have to exclude yourself completely out of that food chain, which has been created by God, obviously, and you know that as well. Otherwise, you wouldn't be asking Dr. Zucker Nike here. You would be asking a nutritionist. Why do you want to exclude yourself of the food chain? It is uh, violence. And my second question is that, is it compulsory in Islam to have non-veg food? And can a pure vegetarian person can follow Islam? Mr. Mahesh Kumar has asked a very good question. <laughs> he said that... I don't know if it's a good question, but he asked a question, yes. In Islam, you all have non-veg food, you all kill animals. Why does Islam give permission to kill living creatures? And can a Muslim be a pure vegetarian? Brother, before I answer the question, I'd like to tell you, a Muslim can be a very good Muslim even by being a pure vegetarian. It is not compulsory in Islam that you should have non veg food. It's not compulsory. But of course, he knows more about Islam than me. He is the scholar here, and I believe him when he says that it's not compulsory. However, we're talking about the submission to the will of God. And I would claim that if you do not follow the natural laws, and you are essentially part of nature, you as a human being are made a certain way by your creator, and your creator didn't create you as a vegetarian. He created you as an omnivore slash carnivore. You rely on meat. Meat comes with multiple nutrients that you cannot find within plants which means if you decide to stay a vegetarian you're directly going against God's will against God's design and therefore obviously you're not submitting yourself to the will of God since Allah says in the Quran and gives permission for a person to have non-veg food in Surah Maida chapter number 5 verse number 1 it says that eat of the four-footed animals which have been made lawful for you Yes. It's mentioned in Surah Nahal chapter 16 verse number 5 that you can eat the meat of the cattle. It's mentioned in Surah Mominun chapter 23 verse number 21 that in the cattle we give you a drink which is good for Milk. the humankind and of the meat you can eat. So when Almighty God gives you permission to eat the meat of the lawful animals then why should we not have? Exactly. Now coming to the logical reason why Islam permits you to have non-veg food. The logical reason, yet again, is because it is our species-specific diet. God created cows. Cows have different guts. They have hind guts, and therefore they are perfectly suited to eat grass. You go out and try eating grass. You will puke. You're not designed to eat grass. You're designed to eat meat. This is why steak tastes delicious to you. Non-veg food, it's rich in protein. 
Sure. The human body, it requires 23 amino acids, out of which 8 are not made in the human body. It should be given by external diet, which are known as essential amino acids. Exactly. Now, these all 8 essential amino acids are present in no kind of vegetable food together. No. It's only present in flesh food. That's correct. So, the non-veg flesh... This is why the vegetarians slash vegans believe that you have to combine foods so you can get all the amino acids. But still, it's not only the amino acids. You will lack vitamin A, vitamin D3, vitamin K2. You will lack cholesterol, creatine, carnosine, and so much more. So the amino acids, this is a great point. However, there are so many micronutrients that you simply cannot find in plants let alone all the anti-nutrients that are found in plants, which then in turn destroy your gut. Food is more nutritious as compared to vegetables. Way more. Furthermore, if you analyze, Based. if you see the set of teeth of the herbivorous animals, the cow, the goat, the sheep, they have got flat set of teeth. Yes. They only have vegetables, they don't have flesh food. Sure. If we analyze the set of teeth of the carnivorous animals, the tiger, the leopard, the lion, they have got pointed set of teeth. They yes. have canine set of teeth. They only have flesh, they don't touch vegetables. On top of that, the herbivorous animals have their eyes on the side. The predatory animals, on the other hand, have them up front. If you analyze the set of teeth of the human beings, if you go in the mirror and see, we human beings, we have got flat teeth as well as pointed teeth. If sure. Almighty God wanted us to have only vegetables, why did he give us this canine teeth? Exactly. Why did he give us this pointed teeth? For what? Because it is your species-specific diet. It is that simple. What does it mean? Again, if you look at the cow, the cow eats grass, but the cow isn't simply eating grass for the sake of eating grass. No, the cow enjoys the grass. To the cow, grass tastes delicious. Meat, on the other hand, tastes delicious to you because you are a carnivorous being. That simple. God created you that way. But natural to have non veg food. To have the flesh food. Furthermore, if we analyze the digestive system of the human being, if you he compare knows. it he knows. Good. to the herbivorous animals, cow, goat, sheep, they yes. can only digest vegetables. Yes. The digestive system of the carnivorous animals, tiger, leopard, lion, they can only digest flesh food, they True. cannot digest vegetables. Right. The digestive system of the human beings can digest both. It has one intestine. To an extent, of course, we cannot digest the same herbivorous matter as cows or as goats, etc., etc., you name it, because they ferment those plants within their guts and then the bacteria starts producing the nutrients that they need. We, on the other hand, cannot do that at all. And big intestine. It can digest vegetables as well as flesh food. It can digest both. So if Almighty God wanted us to have only vegetables, why did he give us the digestive system which can digest both? Exactly. As far as you analyze, many of the Hindus think that Hinduism prohibits the eating of flesh food. Mm. In Kinda. fact, if you read, it's mentioned in Manusmriti, chapter number 5, verse number 30. Almighty God has created some animals to eat and some to be eaten. Yes. If you eat the animals that have been created to be eaten, then it's not a sin. No. Manusmiti chapter number 5 verse number 31. On top of that, if you look into the Indian religions, you will see that it is a class system and coincidentally, the higher class, of course, eats flesh. Is that hmm. Why is that so? Almighty God created some animals for sacrifice. Killing them is not a sin. No. Manusmiti chapter 5 verse number 40 says that killing sacrificial animals for sacrifice is permitted. It is the law of the God. So in Hindu scriptures, it's permitted to have non-veg food. Depends who you are. If you read the are. Vedas and the other scriptures, sages and sons, they ate non-veg food, they even ate beef. Yes. If you read Mahabharat, Anushasan Parv, chapter number 88, when the Pandavas, they gather, Yudhishthir, who is the eldest brother of the Pandav, he asks Bhishma, that what food should we give in Yagna, in Puja, in sacrifice, so that our ancestors will be satisfied. So Bhishma replies that if you give herbs and shrubs and vegetables, 
our ancestors will be it's actually very very simple and this indian caste system is essentially exactly what is happening throughout the world and what has been happening throughout the world it is a caste system and the peasants always ate the grains the kings on the other hand ate the nutritionally dense animal foods it is always the same thing with their religion on the other hand the peasantry class gets tricked spiritually into eating those weak foods and they fight for one month if you give them fish for two months mm -hmm. if you give them meat for three months mm -hmm. if you give them hair for four months if you give them goat for five months mm -hmm. if you give them bacon for six months if you give them birds for seven months if you give them deer for eight months and the menu continues big menus there eh? yeah it says if you give buffalo for 11 months if you give the flesh of cow our ancestors will be satisfied for one full year there you go and if you give red meat of goat or meat of rhinoceros they'll be satisfied inexhaustibly mm. so according to hindu see this is exactly what i have a problem with because we can clearly see that those foods are meant for human beings but they are exclusive to certain people and if you give it to your ancestors in this case you give them only certain bits and pieces or oh, you ate a cow now you're good for a year come back next year and this is exactly what we see in this day and age or oh, eat plant-based or eat the bugs even better and then here and there on a holiday maybe you're going to get lucky and get a little piece of meat Meat, or thank you very much scriptures eating non-veg is not Ridiculous. a sin it is because many of the hindus were being influenced yes. by the ahimsa philosophy yep. of not killing any living creatures they started accepting it yes exactly but even this philosopher ahimsa as you said that killing living creature is a sin brother do you know that even plants have got life sure do you know that brother so if you say killing living creatures is a sin, killing a plant is also a sin. So why do you have plants? The vegans will say, but plants don't have a nervous system. Oh. Agreed. Agreed. Very good. Hmm. Furthermore, there are some people who say, okay, okay, brother Zakir, I agree that plants have got life, but the plants can't feel pain. Therefore, exactly. killing a plant... Zakir Naik knows, man. I'm really animals. impressed. The point to be noted is that today science has advanced and we have come to know even the plants can feel pain. Sure. But the cry of the plant cannot be heard by the human being because human... It's a different type of pain and therefore it is of course very arbitrary. The vegans will simply claim that you need a nervous system and a brain to experience a certain type of pain and the plants do not have that and therefore they do not experience pain like cows. Things here, the frequency that they hear is from 20 cycles per second to 20,000 cycles per second. Anything below and above this range you cannot hear. So there's a farmer in America who converted the cry of the plant into the human frequency and you could come to know when the plants were crying, when they wanted water. There's another person who came and argued with me and told me, Brother Zakir, I agree with you that plants have got life, plants can feel pain, but the plants have got about two senses less as compared to the animals. Therefore, killing a plant is a lesser sin as compared to killing an animal. That's I'm asking you the yes. question, brother. Suppose your brother, your elder brother, he is born deaf and dumb. After he grows up and someone comes and kills him. So will you go and tell the judge, me Lord, give the murderer less punishment because my brother had two senses less. He could not hear, he could not speak. Of course. Will you say that? In fact, you will say, give the murderer double punishment. He could not hear, he could not speak. My brother was masoom. He was innocent. So in Islam, it does not work like that. Two senses or three senses. The Makes Quran sense. says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number one. On top of that, yet again, we simply do not know how they experience pain. So to simply limit it to our five senses and therefore justify one and not the other is irrational. 68, eat of the good things we have provided to you. As long as the food is halal, it's tayyab for you, you can have it. Gone. And furthermore, I personally have got no problem if the non-Muslim don't have non-veg. I've got no problem. Only if they tell me eating non-veg is a sin, it's a crime, that's the time I give the reply. Yes. Otherwise, if the non-Muslims in India, Good. they don't have non-veg, it's beneficial for me. If all the non-Muslims in India start having non-veg, then the prices of mutton and beef will rise. It'll be more expensive for me to have it. <laughs> exactly. So personally, I've got no problem. <laughs> Hope that satisfies your question, brother. Very well, Definitely very well, bro. So now, if you want, you can yet be a good vegetarian. If you want, you can eat non-veg also. 
<laughs> eating non veg will keep you more healthy that's right you can have but even if you want to be a pure vegetarian it's not a sin hope that answers the question brother nice all right guys and this is it for today's video yet again i'm very impressed with dr zucker nike i really like this guy and on top of that i have to repeat based very very based indeed this man knows about vegetarianism veganism and the pitfalls thereof he hasn't been brainwashed into believing that vegetarian or vegan diets are healthier than eating meat of course it is not we've been eating meat forever as he described god created us that way if you're an atheist evolution created us that way you can simply compare the digestive tract of herbivores and carnivores and you will see what's up all right guys but this is it for today if you like the video leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support me through patreon all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for your ongoing support as always may god bless you all much love and peace